You just saw my video a few days ago about MAME 2000 being an underrated gem of a core. Today I bring you an updated version of MAME 2000 with some very very nice bonus features and I give tremendous thanks to GP Star for helping out on this one. This core has been a little bit of a stubborn one for quite some time. It's been broken but we were able to get it properly compiled and updated into the set. So we're going to do some MAME 2000 updated test today. And that is what it is sometimes. Occasionally there'll be changes to other formats that'll break cores. For instance, they might be trying to update something in the libretto for um, the Nintendo Switch, but it'll end up breaking it for the NES SNES Classic until we fix it or find something in the make files to fix them. I mean, it's... A little bit tricky and complicated, but it all works out in the end. We have an updated MAME 2000, that's all that matters now. So I'm going to go to Load Core, MAME 2000, Load Content, and I'm doing dummy photo right now. We'll start out, obviously, with the fantastic OutRun game, which I was playing briefly the other day. This is a game that runs so much better on MAME 2000 than it does on MAME 3, 2003. And I have the extreme performance upgrade. Not that it really matters for MAME 2000 and OutRun. It runs great no matter what. So I'm going to OutRun here. And there's some very, very nice bonus features that are going to really make a lot of people happy here. So we're loading OutRun. MAME 2000. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my video settings and I'm going to enable bilinear filtering to give it a more of a smoothed out look. Again, if you ever want to run shaders, you're going to want to have bilinear filtering off. It does work fine with CRT filter to a degree, but I prefer to have this on for a lot of stuff. So I have it on right now. And we're going to start this game here. Now I'm actually going to push the R2 button. And I have MAME options on MAME 2000, something we previously did not have. And again, if you go into your control options, which, well, again, you didn't even have control options on the previous MAME 2000. They're here now. You could actually configure your controller right in MAME 2000 now. And if you have just an SNES Classic controller, you could go to where it says R2 on here. And you could change this temporarily to R1, which would be R on here. And you can change it back when you're done, but this is what you can do if you want to configure something. But I am using a controller that has R2 on it, so I have no issues. And another thing to point out here, if you go up to user one device type, and you're using a different controller, you could just toggle it to it's the proper controller you're using. You're gonna to have to do this with multiple cores, even the Sega Saturn you know, core, MSX core, it's just the way it is. Many different controllers, many different ways the cores read them. But I'm going to go into input general, input this game. I can see all the various controls and remap them for this game. Now some people want to be able to save these settings, but that is not a good idea because if you end up messing the settings up, it's going to be hard to go back to the default settings. So by powering the system down, it'll actually go back to default settings, which is a good thing in this case. So you can reconfigure settings for the game right here from user input for this game. We have nifty, nifty dip switches here. In this case, I, every game has their own things like bonus health, bonus lives. I'm going to make the enemies easy, give myself more time here. And then I'm simply going to reset the game. So now I have easier enemies, and I have more of a time limit. Let's test this out real quick with this fantastic music. Get ready. Dip switches are very nice for pretty much all the cords that run them. And by having the ability to map the controller now, you can actually map Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 to your heart's content. Something that has probably driven a lot of people crazy, and I made even an HMOD to help out with that, pre-being able to compile this core right here. Yeah. 
not uh, not one single hint of slowdown. This is running fabulously right now. In my initial test of this game, I forgot to do the shift in, and I kept running out of time. I didn't realize I had to switch to the high gear. I completely forgot. It's been a while. Don't forget, uh, Square started out making a great game called Rad Racer on NES. Still holds up extremely well after all this time. I do have a 3DS and I got the uh, 3D version of OutRun on there. I love every single 3D game that they've done the remaster of. I guess there's a new game, I forgot what the name of it is, but it's on the eShop for uh, 3DS now, and it's a game very similar to Rad Racer, and I gotta, I definitely gotta grab that and check it out. I completely forgot what it's called offhand. But it has a, re a complete retro feel to it. Of course, I'm gonna look it up the moment I'm done recording this video. And I just charged my 3DS, so I'm ready to go buy and play it now. I'm almost out of time. Am I going to make it? Am I going to... Oh, I forgot to shift my gear up. See what happened. I forgot the shift high. So we're going to load another game here. Try Mortal Kombat and see if we could reconfigure it. Mortal Kombat. Now we can go into the R2 here. And put this game. And look, we could remap all of the buttons for the game. How nice is that? Button 1, 2, 3, up, down, left, right. Works out really well. And of course we have the main uh, things too. Of course, I messed up on the controller by shutting down. Just going to re reconfigure that. But uh, going into options here. Controls. I could do all the mapping right here. Very nice. 